Hi, this is Max. So one problem many users of Marui have is that complex Maya rigs are too slow for real-time mocap or puppeteering, especially human IK rigs. But there is a simple solution. First I create some simple prop geometry, just to help me visualize better what I'm doing. The shape isn't important for the animation, but for my own visual feedback I make it coarsely match the real geometry. I'm only showing this now with one controller, but of course you can use both controllers simultaneously, as well as the headset and Vive trackers. To record my motion, I am opening the constraints or mocap dialog. Here I can adjust the recording speed and how many keyframes will be created. The fewer keyframes I place, the smoother the resulting motion will be. Now I could use the top of the dialog to attach the sword prop to my VR controller. But there is an easier way. I just switch to the mocap slash puppeteering user interface layout. Now I have a widget on my controller to attach the currently selected object. There is also a widget to start and stop the recording. So let's move the sword a bit. Okay, here you see the recorded motion. Now how do we get this motion onto the rig? For this we leave VR and use the normal Maya user interface. I select the effector handle that I want to use and in the human IK dialog I create an auxiliary effector. Then I select the animated sword prop, select the auxiliary effector and create a Maya constraint. Now you can see the recorded motion drives my human IK rig. I can repeat this process for multiple effectors or I can use multiple VR devices and trackers at the same time. And that's it. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching.